Hey everyone, this is Matt with Motion VFX, and today we're releasing two new packs for DaVinci Resolve. We have our M Drive Elegant and M Drive Sport pack, and each of them have 70 unique titles, effects, and transitions geared towards like different kind of styles. So if you do car reviews, car comparisons, or car commercials, there's gonna be something useful in both of these packs. In fact, you can get both of them together and save a little bit of money and get the M Drive bundle. So in this video, we're gonna take a look inside of DaVinci Resolve and kind of compare the two packs and walk you through how to use them. Okay, so once you've installed the M Drive bundle, you can find it up here under effects, under video transitions and motion VFX, you will see we have M Drive Elegant and M Drive Sport. Coming down to titles, we also have M Drive Elegant and M Drive Sport. And each of these have some add-ons, descriptions, icons, specs, and titles. And then moving on down here to effects, we also have the M Drive Elegant effects as well as the M Drive Sport effects. Now these have some callout effects as well as these tables, which we'll get into in a little bit. Let's come up here to the toolbox and I'll just search for M Drive. And this is gonna pull up both packs together all in one location. So let's start off by looking at these elegant split screen effects. Now, as you can see, this will use two pieces of media. And right down here on my timeline, I already have these two images stacked on top of each other. So in order to use these, all I have to do is select both of these, right click, select new fusion clip. And now I'll just drag on this split screen effect number one here, and you can see this one just kind of slides in that next shot with this nice little arrow, and it even kind of highlights each image in the effect here. And you can actually flip these if you come over here to the inspector under drop zone controls, you can choose the media two position. And now this one will start with the one that was on top, revealing the one that was underneath. And you can see that also sort of slides both of these images from left to right like this. You can disable that just by selecting the custom right here. And this will stay static on screen and just use this as a crop. And you can also use the offset value to adjust where this gets cropped. You can even choose the right alignment. Now this will go in the opposite way. And now let's take a look at some of these tables. Now these also use multiple pieces of media. Most of these will actually use three though. So what I'll do is right click on my fusion clip and choose open in timeline. And here you can see I have both of those clips here. Now I can add another clip inside of here. So let's go back out to the main timeline and I'll just grab this picture that I've got here and I'm just gonna hit Control or Command X to cut that clip. And then I'm gonna right click this, open in timeline, and let's just paste and put this right on top. And then if we double click, now we've got three clips inside of this fusion clip. Of course, if I was doing this from the start, I would have just combined all three to begin with, but I also wanted to show you how you could add to the fusion clip if you've already created one. Let's take a look at this table number two here, for example. Let's drop this onto the fusion clip. And you can see this just uses both of those images and creates this really nice breakdown of both of these different options. And it also blurs the main background image, which is kind of nice. So if these were all the same model, you could have three different variations of the same model and give this whole breakdown of different kind of options for that specific car. And over here, you've got different controls for each of the segments. So under the media control, you can of course move this around, you can scale it, you can even move the image inside of the mask there. You just double click to reset those parameters. And you also have complete control over the text and the description. This is where you can fill out and label different specs that you want to highlight. And under the bottom text, this is where the actual parameters would be. And we have the exact same controls over here for the right segment as well. And we can also control the vertical line that separates both of these breakdowns. So we can disable it if we don't want that, or we can also make it thicker and also longer. So completely customizable. You even have some background controls here. If you don't want the background to be blurred, you can simply disable it, or you can increase the blur like this. Now, if I delete this, we can compare this to the sport tables. These are very similar, just with a different style. So sport table number four, for example, you can see it starts with this main clip brings in our second clip with this nice split screen with all of our graphics over here on the left and everything fades up and then brings in that third image. So you have six table layouts available for the elegant pack and then you have five available for the sport pack. Now let's take a look at a few of these callouts. Now these are a great way to kind of highlight a specific spec on the screen. The sport callout number three, for example, actually has a drop zone area right here. So you can go over here to the drop zone controls and browse for an image. 
and you can adjust the position very easily. If you want this over here on the other side, like this, maybe we'll scale the image inside of the drop zone a little bit like that, recenter it. So once I have this where I want it, I can also go down here to the element controls and I've got this line rotation. I can just swing this around. Maybe we'll just type in 180 and scale it up a little bit like that. So you can see we can really customize the layout in order to fit with our footage a lot better. And it has a really nice animation in the beginning and the end of the clip, which of course you can disable using the in and out controls up here in the inspector. And you can see the elegant callouts are similar. They just have the more luxurious design to them. So these are a little bit more simplified and you can position these however you want to. And each of these captions have their own text box, which you can fill in here and customize. And there are also seven add-ons, which you can kind of combine and use to build out your own kind of custom layout. So for example, here's add-on number seven, and over here you can change the price and also change the box size, color, position, or disable it entirely. And I really like add-on number one. This one's got these two paragraphs. Let's just layer this right on top of these other ones. And maybe we'll use the content controls to position this over to the upper left. So you have these two different bullet points that highlight one at a time. And you can go into title one controls and type in your own paragraph. So this could be like a feature that you want to highlight. And then you also have title two controls. So a separate paragraph and you can see here it will highlight one and then move on to the second paragraph nicely. Now, similar to this first add on preset, we also have these four descriptions for the elegant pack. Now these range from very simple titles like this one, which I really like a lot with this nice animated underline, as well as a little bit more in depth if we want to have more to say about a vehicle. Description number three is a great way to do that. And we also have four descriptions for the sport edition. And these are a little bit faster pace. You can see this one has this nice animation that animates between two different subtitles. So we've got subtitle two, subtitle one, and the main title right here. Again, a lot of these are just gonna be a little bit quicker pace, more geared towards like kind of a sport style video. Okay, so let's take a look at a couple of these sport specs. Now this is a nice collection of little titles that highlight a specific specification of your vehicle. And all of these have a really nice and unique animation. You can see number nine here kind of highlights these four points at the bottom. And if you stretch out the duration longer, then it will kind of animate through those a little bit slower to compensate for that longer duration. And under the description controls, you can modify the text and each of these have their own secondary color right here. So you can technically have different colors for each of these words here. And taking a look at the elegant specs, these are pretty similar to the sport. Again, they just have a little bit of a different design language to them. This one, for example, has a list of different variables that you can highlight their strengths and weaknesses. And each of them have their own segment controls where you can adjust the value right here. It goes from zero to one. And if you come into the chart line controls, you can actually change the color of the lines altogether with one control here. So you really do have a lot of customization for different kinds of layouts. If you want to combine this with other graphics on screen, all right, let's take a look at the sport titles. There are nine of them and all of them kind of like the rest of the pack offer a really nice blend of speed, flair, and this really nice sporty style. So here's number seven, for example, it kind of has this nice chromatic aberration distortion type of effect. Number eight is pretty cool. It has this like racing stripe that goes down the center of the top there. So there's a lot of creative ways you can use these titles. Now, why don't we go ahead and experiment with a couple of these transitions? So before I do this, I want to actually combine these two shots together with a transition. Now, rather than just applying the transition directly to this shot, I want to integrate the titles in with the transitions as well. So what I would do is select this clip here and I'm just going to temporarily move this up to the top track here and I'm just going to extend the duration out. I think about a second is probably good enough. And then I'll select this, right click and choose new compound clip. And then I'll reduce the duration back down to its original length and put it back in the original position. And I'll do the same thing with this next shot here, except this time I'm just gonna use the footage to extend this way for one second. I'm gonna leave the title right where it's at and I'm gonna select these two, right click, choose new compound clip bring it back to the original duration and put this back down. The reason I did this is because now I've got additional frame handles on both sides of this cut. 
which will allow me to use a transition like this. So now you can see the titles and everything is all integrated inside of that transition. And this is a really nice transition too, by the way. It has these really cool red slanted bars. It almost looks like they are racing together. Kind of cool. You can also flip the direction. And there are five total transitions that come with both packs. So if you get the bundle, you have 10 different transitions and they're all unique and a great way to up the pacing and production quality of your edits. So that's the M Drive bundle. Again, you can pick them up individually if you just want one or the other, or if you want both, you can get them as a bundle and save some money. There's more information in the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.